Hi, welcome to my channel, Haddon Homes. Um, I've been in real estate for 16 years and my goal is to share information with my subscribers that can help you make smart buying and selling real estate decisions. So if you want to subscribe, just click the bottom below in this little button and we post stuff every Tuesday and I would love to share. Anyway, my topic for today is do you buy or sell first? Um, it's a really good question and I get it often and it's a hard one because there's reasons to do both first. So buying people are nervous that they're not going to find the right place. If they sell first, they're worried that they'll be homeless. <laughs> they wouldn't, they won't have found the place. And so they'll have to rent or they'll have to move twice, which I get, especially with the people that I work with, because most of those people are family people and they have kids and things. And so moving twice is just like moving once is hard enough. So that's their concern. Buying first, the concern is, oh my gosh, what if I don't sell in time and I have to hold on to both properties, which is really scary because a lot of people don't even have the approval to do so. And it's really expensive to hold on to two mortgages at the moment as well. So my answer is it depends on the market we're in. When we are in a really robust market and things are selling really quickly and for way over asking, um, I think you can take your time to find something that you really want and buy first. Um, and then you know that statistically your house is gonna sell within you know seven to 14 days, likely for this and you're good to go. And so you just ask for long closing dates to make sure that you have the time to sell. Um, that being said, if you know you wanna move, it's always a good idea to get started on the things that you need to do to your house to add value. We try to add value at the lowest cost possible with the biggest bang for your buck. So, you know, changing kitchen hardware, changing light fixtures, staging, painting, these are all major things, but sometimes they take um, some lead up. So if you can start with those things sooner rather than later, that's better. In a slow market, you would want to sell first because there is no guarantee as to when your place will be sold. Recently, I have had a few listings sell in the last month, but some are just sitting there and they're not moving. And if they had purchased first, um, they would feel desperate to sell and they would be making moves like out of desperation or fear, um, which I believe are always the wrong moves to make. So it depends on the time and it depends on your risk factor, like how risky you feel you can be. But right now, if it were me in this market, I would sell first, know exactly the amount of money that I'm dealing with and buy and know that worst case scenario, I would just have to go somewhere for a little bit, even though it's a pain. At least I'm not on the hook carrying or owning two properties or not being able to close on the property that I bought. Those are my two cents. Bye for now. Have a great day.